Here we have a photograph of the field around NGC 6946 and Barnard 150. This photograph has already been processed, and we're going to have a look at the processes we've applied to it. First, we applied a color calibration using photometric color calibration, then we stretched the image. The next steps were to increase the image contrast and color saturation. The last process was applied with this lightness mask. The main aim of this mask is to isolate the galaxy from the rest of the image. By isolating the galaxy, we can control the contrast within it. In astrophotography, there's no one correct color balance for a photograph. We can represent the color in different ways, based on what we want to communicate. For example, in this photograph, the field is dominated by interstellar dust, and this dust makes this galaxy look slightly red. Although we've used an average spiral galaxy as the white reference, this galaxy looks redder than that average spiral galaxy. There's another option for this image, and that's to select the galaxy itself as the white reference. By doing this, we can optimize the way the colors are displayed inside the galaxy. To do this, we need to go back a few steps in the history to before the color calibration. Remember, at this stage, the image is still linear, so we need to press Ctrl-A to display the image with the STF. The background of this image isn't neutralized, so we need to unlink the RGB channels in the STF. At this point, we're going to create an exact copy of the image. We're going to call it NGC 6946 underscore CC for color calibration. If we look at the end of the first image's history, we can see that its identifier is PCC, which is the tool we used for the white balance. Remember, if we go to the end of the processing sequence, the image has already been stretched, so we need to disable the STF, otherwise the image displayed will have been stretched twice. Now we're going to repeat the processing sequence on this copy, but this time using color calibration instead of PCC. The first image has a small preview of the background. We're going to make a preview of the same area, and we can do this easily by copying the preview over to the other image. Now this area is identical to the one on the other image. Note that this preview has been stretched twice, so we need to disable the STF here too. Now what we're going to do is create a preview for the white reference, and this preview will contain the galaxy. Now on this new image, we have a preview of the background, and one for the white balance. We'll set these two previews as regions of interest in color calibration. We'll uncheck the Structure Detection checkbox because we want all the light that's inside the galaxy, and now we apply the process. Color calibration needs a background reference, but it doesn't neutralize the sky background color. So after we've applied the white balance, we need to open Background Neutralization and add Preview 1 as the region of interest to neutralize the background. Now we link the channels, and we apply the auto stretch with the RGB channels linked. Now we have two images, one with color calibration and the other with PCC. Now that we've configured the new color calibration, we need to apply exactly the same processing sequence to get the same result and see how this process, which is the only one we've changed, affects the image. First, we're going to save this history as an icon. Now we're going to apply the next steps to the new image. We disable the change of identifier at the beginning, the PCC process, and the final image identifier that adds the PCC suffix. So now we're going to apply these four processes only.
Remember, we have to disable the STF now. We can see that this image is much lighter now. This is because some processing steps can't always be copied over directly to another image if we've made changes to previous steps. What's changed in this image? Let's undo the process container and take a look at the first step. If we double-click, the histogram transformation window opens. This is the adjustment we applied to the first image. Let's look at how it affects the new image. Let's zoom in, and we can see that the new histogram adjustment makes the sky background very bright. This is because the shadow's clipping point isn't exactly the same as the one needed for the other image. If we go back, we can see that the sky background levels of the two images are slightly different. This is because, in this image, we've applied the color calibration process using the color calibration tool, which doesn't adjust the sky background in the same way as PCC. We therefore need to reconfigure this histogram adjustment to make the sky background levels the same. Let's do this now. And there we go. We apply this new process. And now we can apply the other three. Let's go back to the end of this image's history, and now we can compare these two images. We make a copy of the main view and open Pixel Math. We type in the identifier of the other image to replace the pixels in this image with the ones in the other image. Now we can see that with PCC, the galaxy is redder. And with color calibration, all of the light in this galaxy is more neutral without the reddening of the dust.